What's up guys, CG Sparky here and today I'm going to show you how to use alpha maps within ZBrush uh, to detail hard surface models. I'll also show you how to turn on back face masking to stop unwanted details appearing throughout your mesh. So within ZBrush, uh, if you imagine this block is like a piece of armour um, and rather than sculpting in your, your bolts or vents, you want to just be able to drag in an alpha map um, and get all that detail. So, I first dynameshed the mask to 512 to get high enough resolution um, so that the details come through nice and sharp. Um, so, you want to go up to alpha in the top left and you want to pick what alpha mask you want. As you can see here, I've got quite a few um, kind of mechanical looking alpha maps. So, if you load one of these in um, and select it, I'm going to select this vent here and you want to go to dots and change it to drag. This means that you can drag in the alpha mask like so into the model. Now, as you can see on the back, it's done the opposite. It's dragged out the back as well, which if it's hidden, it doesn't matter too much because you'll never see this if it's the backside of an armor plate. However, for things like cloth, uh, or even just thin bits of armour that might come off, you don't want this in the back at all. So I'll just control Z this and basically to fix that, you want to go up to the brush tab and scroll down to auto masking and you want to turn on back face mask. So this has now changed it so that when you drag in your alpha on the back face, it doesn't appear. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.